Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl LB Johnson back with another video. Back with another video. Y'all, this hat and this wig is giving. In West Philadelphia, you're born and raised on the playgrounds where I spent most of my days kicking and chilling and relaxing and some, 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 some. When a couple of guys, they was up to no good. I started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got a one little fight. My mom got scared. Said, you're moving with your auntie, your uncle, and my lad. Well, what's up, y'all? <laughs> hey, y'all. Welcome to my channel. I don't think I'm going to be on here long. I just had like a little quick thought. Just a quick little uh, thought, really. So, in a little quick little message. So I was just thinking to myself, when I was a little girl, Oh, let me get y'all a message for right example today. So I was just talking, you know, intuitively with the Holy Spirit. Um, so I was talking to the Holy Spirit and I was saying how I was just like, it was like the Holy Spirit. I don't know if I was talking to the Holy Spirit. Was talking, I, I don't know. But uh, in the midst of the conversation, it was said that, <laughs> that, oh, um, hey, come on down, girl. So it was said, I was just like, you know, no, no, okay. So like the Holy Spirit, it was like the Holy Spirit gave me this like thought. It was like you had your mindset on one thing, your kid and spouse had their mindset on something else. Like you knew I and you knew that you were a wife, you knew that you were a husband, you knew that that is my wife, that is my husband. Whereas your kid and spouse had their mindset on maybe this a bling or maybe oh she's beautiful or he's handsome or this is only temporarily or they may have thought to themselves that they haven't met you or they have met you and they don't know that you're that keeping spouse or what now or whatever they may have always felt like i am going to be single or like you know non-committal or something like that like they y'all had two different views like y'all had two different views right so i'm just like okay well who wins this battle then? So, this is the question I ask y'all. So, I'm like, okay, well, if they looking at it like they, if they're destined to be single, and you're looking at it like I'm destined to be married, who wins? Like, who wins? And so, then I hear the Holy Spirit say, the person with God. And so, I'm like, hmm, okay. And not, this not to say that your Holy, your, your, um, King of is not a person of God, a man or a woman of God, or that they're not equally yoked, but everybody's not dead set on my kind of spouse. Some people just like they pray and they keep God first and everything, but marriage is not the first thing in their mind. Some people are single and not worried about when am I going to get married. So it doesn't mean that they're not looking like it doesn't mean that they're not looking for it. Like, uh, when am I? I mean, they not they don't have God first and foremost in their life, it just means that hey, they may not be. Their main priority may not be marriage. Like, yeah, their main priority may not be marriage. They may have other priorities. They may have other things that they're thinking about right now. Marriage might be the furthest thing from their mind right now. Oh, I just ate this pizza. Your girl's full. And so, um, so yeah. So the Holy Spirit said the person with God. So then, in the midst, I mean, after I'm like having just this little quick power, just, just just a quick little message, like a little quick little trans, little, little quick little communication with the Holy Spirit. This song come on, called "You Are." So like right after I said like, so who win? And the Holy Spirit was like, person with God. And then the song "You Are" by Kirk Franklin come on. I haven't listened to the lyrics out, and I don't know the song. But I just seen the title on the uh, radio screen, and it said, you are. And then I paused, and then turned the camera on, like, oh, my God. So, you're going to win. Like, you're, you're going to win. You, with God, God, you, you, God is going to see your kind of spouse, and God is going to reveal to them that you're their kind of spouse. Yeah. So, that was all I had about that message. But then I was just thinking to myself, like, I was just thinking to myself, I was that little girl. Now, this side, side note, these are my chosen ones who are um, like prophets or people who just speak to God, talk to God or whatever. But I was just talking to God, talking to the Holy Spirit or whatnot. 
they need to meet me talking to, uh, to those here. I'm just riding down the street by myself right now. Yeah, I know I'm a lot of time by myself and I'm not with my son or my mom. But a lot of time by myself. So I'm just riding down the street and riding down the highway and I'm just talking to the Holy Spirit and I'm just like, it clicked to me. I was that little girl. My son is the same way. And my son is gifted as well. But I was that little girl that used to talk to myself real bad. Like, be in the bathroom, car, walking, whatever. I used to talk to myself real bad, y'all. You know, like, real bad. Like, hey, girl, what you doing? And I'm, you know, they say, you ain't, cra you ain't, you ain't crazy unless you answer yourself. Well, I guess I was a little crazy because I used to answer myself. And, you know, I'd be like, hey, girl, what you doing? And the girl be like, nothing, girl. What you doing, girl? Yeah, that was me. And um, I realized, like, you know, the whole time, we be thinking we was talking to ourselves, but a lot of times, we probably was talking to the Holy Spirit. Because I always had, like, a strong urge. I wanted to know, like, um, for, like, a long time, I always wanted to know, like, the Holy Spirit, like, how, um, like, how do you hear from God? Like, what is the hearing from God? I always had that long for that. I always wanted for that. And I, I would hear people say, yeah, I talk to God. And I'm just like, how you talk to God? Like, I always wanted to talk to God. They don't realize that I probably was talking to God the whole time as a little girl. Because, baby, I never had an imaginary friend. But me and that, who I used to be talking to, we used to have a full of a long conversation, girl. And it used to be, sometimes it would be in my mouth. Sometimes it would just be in my head. Like, I'd just be having a whole conversation. Like, girl. Like, girl. But I didn't have an imaginary friend. But... Yeah, so if you be talking to yourself or you talk to yourself, you might be talking to God. So if you wondering like how do I like how can God hear me? That's how. And it's so crazy because you know, people they notice your relationship with God before you notice it. Like you think it's just my new you don't think that they're too serious. They just hear the love and the joy and the excitement in your voice of what God brings to you when you speak of him. And um, I had this one friend. I had a friend. And I remember she was talking to me, right? And it's so funny because she was like, girl, I be telling people. She, was like, oh, she said something like, I be telling people, like, I know this lady who talked to God. But you, she talked to God like she talking to you and I. Like, you think she talking like God seen that to her. Like, this girl relationship with God is so strong. So I was like, oh, I would love to meet her. Like, for real, I, was, I would love to meet her. Like, she said, oh, no, like, I love that. And she was like, girl, let's talk about you. She was like, I be telling people that about you. And I'm like, girl, what? <laughs> but I never realized how strong my relationship, like, I just be talking about God because that's what I enjoy doing. Like, I enjoy, I enjoy talking to God, and I enjoy talking about God, and I enjoy sharing God's messages. And I get, I truly get excited when he sent me a message. But I never like looked at it like people. I never thought people looked at it like, oh, she talked to God. Like she talked, like he said right there, slow. Well, he is. He's with me. And I be feeling his spirit sometimes. I, like, I be feeling him. I be feeling the angels. I be feeling somebody. Like right now, I just felt something. But I be feeling like wind. Like I feel a strong wind at the most. Like right now, I'm hot as ever. And then when I just said that, I felt like a breeze. But I be feeling like a strong wind. Like sometimes I just get like real chilly, like real cold out of nowhere. And I be knowing like the Holy Spirit is right there with me. I know that God is right there with me. All right, I'm just back my name. I hope y'all be enjoying talking to me because clearly I be enjoying talking to y'all. So don't be acting funny because I be enjoying talking to y'all. <laughs> subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Let me get out of this camera because now I'm acting.